Fifth been on the mound for the Astros is left-hander Framber Valdez, 12 and 10, fifth in the AL with a 3.20 ERA and 29 starts. Swung on and missed, but it gets away from Maldonado. And Garcia will be on with a strikeout wild pitch or a strikeout pass ball. Witt hitting 278, 320 on base percentage. Tied for eighth in the AL with 29 homers, 91 RBIs. Needs one more home run for a 30-30 season. Fastball smoke deep to left center field. McCormick's back into the gap and one hops the fence in deep left center. Garcia's already a third. His helmet flies off while he rounds the base. He's in a score standing, and Bobby Witt Jr. dives into third with an RBI triple. And the Royals immediately have a 1-0 lead in the top of the first. Knocked in his 90-second run. Velasquez takes outside ball four, and that brings up MJ Melendez with runners on first and third. Still nobody out top of the first. Delivers and Melendez loops it down into right field, a base hit. Wits into score standing, Velasquez over to second. An RBI single for MJ Melendez, and the Royals lead 2 0 in the top of the first. Four straight reaching for Kansas City to start the ball game. Fastball rolled down the third baseline, fair ball past Bregman off the sidewall, Karam's in the left. Velasquez rounds third, he's in to score, Melendez goes first to third, and Edward Olivares is in his second with an RBI double. The Royals have come out swinging in Houston. They lead 3-0 in the top of the first, and there's still nobody out. Now Lofton lifts it to center field, that's deep. And it's going to be run down by Dubon, but deep enough for both runners to move up. It's 4-0 with a runner at third and one out. We've definitely seen it from the Astros rotation of late, just struggling to get the Astros into ball games. Swing and a miss, got him on three pitches. Last one being a cutter, third strikeout for Fromber. He strikes out three in the inning, but gives up four runs. And Cole Reagans couldn't really ask for much better run support than that before he even takes the mound. Reagans is making his 11th start with the Royals through his first 10 outstanding. So Payne is on on the fielder's choice, one out. Here's Jordan Alvarez, Astros' designated hitter. Tied with Robin Yao at eight straight games with an extra base hit against the Royals. Now Jordan sends one to deep left center field, all the way back near the wall. It's off the brick at the top of the wall. Payne flying around third. He's going to score. Jordan Alvarez makes it a 4-1 to one game with a rigging double that just missed being a home run. Now has an extra base hit against the Royals in nine straight games, which is a record. Tucker is on deck, and it's lined to center field, and Isbell dives and makes a tremendous play in center field. Yeah, this is one of his best catches of the year here. That for sure was going to get down, but his first step quickness and the angle he took right to the ball was perfect. Tucker hits it high in the air, straight away left, shallow. MJ Melendez drifts in a couple of paces, makes the catch. Tucker's out, and that ends the inning. Royals with a 4-1 to one lead. Abreu hitting 233, 16 homers and 82 RBIs. Abreu to right field. Forget about this one. It's a two-run game. Abreu hits number 17. And the Astros back with it a couple. My goodness, he's 99 up, driven the other way. Still no ground ball outs yet for Fromber. The one, two. Got him, strike three. Change up, he flails at. 0 2, breaking ball, strike three. Lofton goes down on strikes to play two and a half at Minute Maid. Kyle Tucker leads things off. Royals lead four to two, bottom of the fourth inning. This is a drive to right center. Still going out there. This ball is off the wall. Tucker racing around second. He's going to go for three. Throw comes in, stand up triple. Kyle Tucker, his fourth of the year, and that's how the Astros start the fourth inning. And now ground ball to third. Garcia backs up. Long throw is going to be in time. Robreu is out, and Tucker's still at third. And a swing and a miss, and he struck him out for the second out of the inning. And there's a two hopper back to the mound. And that was about 95 over to Prado. And Cole Reagans gets around a leadoff triple. Cole Reagans has given up two runs, three hits. The Astros are one for 10 with a runner on base. And there's a swing and a miss. He goes after a high fastball, strikes out. That's the third of the night for Cole Reagans. Reagans strikes him out and gets the Astros in order in the bottom of the fifth. And now he has set down 12 of the last 13. Uh, Porter's job is to get this bunt down to third base and force Alex to come in and get away from third base because that'll open it up for Oliveris. Bunts it right back to the mound. Fromber is going to go to third. Not a good choice. Bases will be loaded. 
Yeah, you'd like to see him get his feet set and throw a BB over there. Tried to throw it on his on the run. Now Prado gets jammed, but the Royals are going to get a run. Prado had struck out in his first two at bats, so he didn't hit it hard, but he hit it soft enough where the only thing Abreu could do was go to first, and the Royals lead 5 2. And the Royals now with runners at second and third, and one out for Kyle Isbell. Isbell grounds it up the middle and he will drive in two and the Royals have a 7 2 lead in the sixth inning frustrating for Fromber Valdez the seven runs a season worst but that's the first out of the inning and the Astros have runners at the corners and he got him well we've seen him get out of jams he Tucker hit that triple last time he was up with nobody out and he was able to get out of it with some excellent pitching. And McCormick hits it to center field. Isbell is there. He makes the catch for the out. What a job by Cole Reagans. He's on first and second here with one away. I'd like to see the Astros come back to haunt Royals pitching and get back in this ball game somehow. Here's McCormick. He is 0 for 2. Chaz hits one pretty well to right field. Sending Velasquez back. Three run Jack. Astros back in at 7 to 5. That's when you were talking about needing a big swing. Chaz comes through. Home run number 21 for the Chaz Manian Devil. That's going to help the chances here late in this ball game. A big three run home run off the bat of Chaz. There is a base hit. Astros will bring the tying run to the plate. Dubon will take the big turn. He's going to head for second. Head first slot. He's safe. A double for Mauricio. A little ground ball could be trouble. Coming on Garcia. No throw. Tying runs on base. Fastball popped up straight away center. Kyle Isbell's underneath it. He makes the catch and the inning is over. Astros threaten for more, but they do score three. And unless the Astros are able to do some damage here down to their final out, the Rangers would move in the first place in the American League West by a half game. Swung on and missed strike three. And that's the ball game. Astros a half game behind the Texas Rangers in second place.